Hello, and welcome to another episode of my Top 35 build. It's standing room only in the garage because the car's been blown to the four corners for paint and bodywork on the chassis and all the individual panels, which is why the scuttle's standing up like a tin soldier. It was easier to stand the scuttle upright than the frame. What can I say? Sometimes I like to do things the easy way. At the moment, everything's knee-deep in primer, so why don't we talk about that? We can start with the frame, which came out really nice. Its journey down the painted lane started by stripping all the surface rust that it had accumulated during mock-up. Once it was shiny again, a couple of coats of metal etching primer were applied to give the paint some bite against the raw steel. Over that, a couple coats of flat black primer and the frame was done. Surprisingly trouble-free. It came out looking pretty good. No runs, welds covered nicely. I didn't end up putting the stainless overlays on the chassis rails, though. I thought it'd be cool, but between the thickness of the stainless steel and the epoxy, it created a gap between the body and the firewall that was really noticeable, so... Frame rails, too. Overlays, zero. With the chassis tackled, though, came the body. Kind of shocking after so long of seeing it in white to see it in black all of a sudden, but ta-da! Being fiberglass, the panels took a lot more prep to get whipped into shape. First was sanding. Grinding would probably be a more appropriate term, but leveled nonetheless. There was a lot of excess epoxy that needed to be removed to have any dream of a uniform finish across the panels. Then there was all the low spots that needed to be filled. After that, the whole thing got sanded again, and I primed everything, and turns out Truth Serum can be bought in an auto body store. As nice as everything looked bare, it looked terrible at primer. So, another round of sanding, filling in some areas I missed, another shot of primer, and better. I could keep going over the panels with a fine-tooth comb, but go too far and the bodywork loses its character. Not far enough and it all looks ratty. The balance is in making the rough parts a little smoother and the smooth parts a little rougher, so in the end, they all look the same. It's like the steering column passed through. On the driver's hood side, which you can't even see. So, just forward of the top row of louvers was an oblong hole that a steering column was once destined to pass through. A little change in destiny and a spare piece of fiberglass and the oblong hole become a long gone hole. I suspect there'll be a small halo where the hood and the filler panel aren't the exact same shape, but should be neat to see. There's also passenger's hood panel, which previously had the whole leading edge cut off. So what I did was epoxy the two cuts together in a butt joint so the hood could be usable during mock-up. Then when it came time to finish all the panels, I ground a valley down the length of the joint, epoxied it over, and once it cured, did the same thing to the joint on the inside. After some sanding, the feathered joints disappeared, and the panel looks like it was always one piece. I thought it was a pretty snazzy approach. But I think the boat tail may be snazzier. The repair on the hood is cool, but it's tough to beat a part that just about finishes itself. So, I ground down, filled, and sanded the boat tail like every other panel. Sprayed it with a coat of primer, and the thing has been sitting here collecting dust ever since. It came out so nice on the first go-round, I was kind of shocked. So, I turned my attention to da -da -da -da, the tin work. Despite the body being fiberglass, there is a little bit of metal finishing on the car. First was the gas tank. It's steel, but was powder-coated, so... A good sanding and a coat of primer was all it needed. The rest of the panels are aluminum and they had to be sanded to give them some bite. Then I sprayed on a couple coats of metal etching primer for good measure, a few layers of black primer, and 
All done. With all the panels in primer now, the body can be painted. Which, at a body shop, spraying modern paint might take a couple hours. All the panels could be hung from spray racks with care in anticipation that a professional painter soon would be there. But this is getting enamel in one side of a home garage, which currently looks like a tin of black paint exploded inside a deflated bouncy castle. But we will press on. 